Okay, ayan. So, so clean. Clean and... Uh, mm, nasira na naman. Hello guys! It's Jem. And today marks my first ever art video. Art vlog. Art tutorial. Kung ano mga So, I'm very, very excited to show you guys kung ano nagawa ko. And this video is about me transforming this bedroom mirror of mine into something like this. If you saw what's gonna happen, I'm going to show you how it happened. Champre, let's dive into the creative process. Nigano pa tayo rin pa. Let's get crazy. So first things first, ang pagkuwas happen natin ay materials and expenses. So sa lahat ng mga project, lagi naman tayo nila dalit ng materials. Pero for this project, wala akong ginastos kasi lahat ng materials na ginamit ko ay mga meron ako sa bahay and ginamit ko na from my previous projects. For the sake of this video, I'll try to make a rough estimate. I'm gonna look back on old receipts and calculate para makita ninyo and malaman ninyo kung ano yung kailangan yung budget. Especially if you are starting from zero materials. So, first, ang kailangan mong material is paint. So, the first type of paint that you'll need is something to coat your item. So, what I used was elastomeric paint na leftover lang dito sa bahay. So, if you have leftover, like, uh, anong tagal, hardware paint, yung mga boys din, ganun. Kasi, the purpose of that is just to, to make it look like a clean, flat, clean, clean canvas. So, if meron siya mga dating design, tatakpan mo na siya ng isang paint color. And I highly suggest white. Easy to work on and madaling mag magpatong ng kulay sa white. Mas maganda, mas maayon. Pero if ever na parang ako na nagkukuripot kayo, sige, go lang. Any color would do. Ano yung meron sa bahay. But, tip lang. If you're going for pastel or light colors or neon, just use white. Pero if you're like trying a dark theme, okay lang naman ng dark theme background. Tapos na plain. Just make it plain. What I highly suggest bukod sa hardware paint is spray paint. Ayan. So spray paint is very nice kasi it's going to coat your material evenly and it's going to reach those ano, mga sinit-sinit, mga hard to reach areas na mahirap abutin ng brush. So magandang gamitin ang spray paint. On a budget, you can use hardware paint na boysen and para madali siya patungan na ibang paint. Which is acrylic! For this project, hindi ako naging choosy about the quality. And naamin ko, never pa ako gumamit sa mga mamahalin acrylic. Kinamit ko lang is mga binili ko sa MBS and binili ko sa Shopee. Uh, yung binili ko sa Shopee is yung Focus Perma Acrylic Paint. Yes, and then link ko sa description box below kung saan shop ko siya binili. And yun, yung sa MBS naman. Yeah. Ito lang naman yung mga brands na ginamit ko. So, yeah. Hindi naman siya mahirap hanapin kasi yung mga nandun na talaga. And then, next material is kung naman na brush. Yes. Kasi, uh, paano mo ilalagay doon? For me, quality over quantity. Dalawa lang brush ko. Dalawa lang yung brush ko and yung tatlo na sa sabihin ko. Andun yung dalawang yun. Ano, ano yun? First is a bright or flat brush. The second is a filbert brush. So, kung nagme-makeup kayo, mapaknatin yung parang mukha siya yung panglagay ng eyeshadow, diba? Then, it blends the, ano, uh, the paint. Basta so, maganda siya pang blend. It's a filbert brush. And then, the third brush na kailangan nyo, wala ako, <laughs> is a round brush. Ito naman yung mas madaling magagamit for rough edges and mga singit-singit, ganyan-ganyan. If you're starting to paint and you want high quality brushes, these are some new brushes kasi bumili ng isang bagsama na mahal na set. Uh, yan yung tatlo na masasuggest ko na bilhin niya. And then lastly, syempre tinama ng painting palette. Again, ng tubig. And okay, ha, hindi ginagamitan ng tubig ang acrylic at oil. Huwag niyong gamitin yung tubig na panghalo sa pintura. Uh, kaya tayo may tinatawag na watercolor kasi yun lang yung paint na ginagamitan. <laughs> Ang mga nangyayari lang, if gagamitan mo ng tubig, yung canvas mo na may acrylic, it's either mabubura niya yung, yung pintura or nilinisin niya yung brush mo. Yun ang naman talaga yung purpose ng tubig sa acrylic and oil painting. It's pang lilis ng brush. Huwag niyong ipilit na ihalo yung tubig sa pintura. Yan. So 
Ayan, yun na yung mother's pala mo. Let's get painting. Yeah. Okay, so tinanggal ko muna yung mirror sa pader and then tinanggal ko yung mga little women designs and then pinaint siya ng elastomeric paint ng dalawang coating. Nagyan natin ng papel yung mismong mirror and yung labas para hindi ko matuluan ng pintura ang aking lapag. Yes, yan, turo, turo, turo and okay. So, nilito yung outline ng vines using a brown acrylic paint. Ayan, parang alam ko kung saan ko lalagay yung mga vine. So that's one step. And then to make the dimensions of the vine, I use a base color na color green and then lagyan siya na highlight color white. And then shadow naman, uh, brown din yung gagamitin ko. And then for blending, I use the filbert brush. Make sure na wala masyadong pintura yung mismong brush. And then blend, 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 blend it away like you're contouring. Yes, and that's a time lapse. And yeah, I also use yellow since I want the highlights to be yellow. So, ayan, itsura niya. Ang papatid niya, hindi niya masyado brown yung background, tulad no kanina. But, nilagyan ko kasi siya ng green na tint. And this one, mapapansin niyo, is another method of how I made the vines. And then, I used the base color green para lang i-trace kung saan yung mismong vine instead no yung brown kanina. And what I do now, is mapatungan ko siya ng highlights. So, I'll put some white. And then, I'm gonna put some yellow. Kasi, I want the highlights to be yellow. So, bakit hindi yellow mismo? Kasi hindi siya lulutang. So, kailangan ko talaga ng white. So, nakikita niyo dito, di ba? Nag-blend na yung dalawang vines. And I want to establish hierarchy. Gusto ko yung isang vine, nagmumukha siya nasa ibabaw. So, I'm gonna put some shadow on this little vine here using some brown and adding some green para hindi siya brown talaga but dark green yung mag-iitsura niya. And then, I'm gonna put some highlights here again. Ayan, para siya yung nasa ibabaw. Ayan, blend, blend, blend. Ayan. Yan. So, pwede ko pala maayusin yan afterwards. And, shong. Ayan. Ayan. And, kung makikita nyo, diba? Ayan. Mukhang nasa likod na yung isang vine. And, then, nasa ibabaw na tong um, C-curve na vine na yan. And, yan. Yeah, yun yung gagawin natin sa lahat. So, ito, makikita nyo. I wanted to make it vibrant just like that. So, gagawin ko. Instead na mismong ye yellow lang agad yung lalagay ko, lalagyan ko muna siya na white. So yan, lagay-lagay tayo ng white sa edges. Ayan, I want it to be glowy, di ba? So I put some white sa edges. And yan, pag sumobra yung white, lagyan mo na kunting green. Ayan, and gawin na natin yan sa lahat. So, some white, put some white, put some green. Parang gradient sa, from white to green. So, eh, eh. Yan, parang nag-highlight ka naman cheekbones. And, this think of the vines as cheekbones. Yan, so we do it for all of the vines. So, yun yung itsura ng naman yellow kapag hindi mo siya nahaluan ng puti. Medyo madilim siya. Kaya, yun yung ginagamit ko for the background vines. Yeah! And then here it is, the final um, look for my vines. Ayan. Tada! So now I'm gonna do the foreground. Ah, mali. <laughs> Basta yan. I'm going to do that. And then, yeah, so what I'm doing is I painted first with white. So yan yung reason kaya bakit white yung sinasabi kong gawin ng background color. It's easier na magpalutang ng light colors. So, ayan, unite ko muna lahat. May ako na yellow din yung red. So, inspired yan sa bubbles ni, sa bubble ni Viper sa Valorant. Pero green yan. Pero yellow gano'n gano'n ko. So, ayan, here's the time lapse. And, yay! Gusto ko mapapas niyo. Yung mga edges niya, medyo madumi. Kasi, syempre, hindi ko siya nilagyan ng tape or anything. And I wanted to paint it with gold. Para nice. So, I first put some masking tape para hindi ko na mapintarahan yung mga hindi ko pa napintarahan. Ayan, may part pa na hindi napintarado sa taas. Ayan, I'm gonna put some gold. Uh, mga dalawang coating ata, yan, or tatlo. Para lang matakpan lahat. Ayan, it's also from Shopee. Yay, yung pink na yan. Then, I also put some, yan sa mismo mirror. Hooray! And then, ayan, tinatanggal ko na. Ay, nasira. Ah, okay, ulit. Ah, nasira ulit. Ano ba yan? Okay, ayan. So, so clean. Clean edge. Uh, mm, nasira na naman. Okay, pero yun. Just use your fingertips. Kapag nagbabalat niyan, huwag niyong kutkutin ang kuko. 
ay nasira na naman ay 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 natanggal yung pintura ayan oh so for the blue part pala i used like aquamarine and ay mali cerulean and tama ano ano isa ultramarine ayun and then some white specks yeah and then ayan malapit na malapit na yan na lang yan na lang uh, uh, ayan so i only use my fingertips ay hukot ko din yung paint so, ayun, nasira na naman. So, yan, yeah, itimelapse ko na lang kasi yun, tagal eh. Ayan, pagam, shung, 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 parang, pam, pam, pam. Ayan na, the last piece. Ay, may natira pa. Okay, ayan na, the last piece, final na. Okay, kaya mo yan. <coughs> kaya mo yan. Eh, ayan, so, check lang natin, check lang natin. Oh, ayan na, tapos na, tapos na. Hooray, hooray. Wow, let's admire. Let's admire the clean edges. Yeah, and look at this. Yeah, bilog. Ayah, so in the niya overall, then I do coat it with some varnish. I use this plastic varnish C01 Natural na binili ko sa hardware na 55 pesos ng ata. So add that to the calculation pala. And I have this foam brush. You can also use a sponge, pero <laughs> disclaimer lang masisira yung <laughs> foam brush na yan kapag may varnish. Like, Masisira siya, madi-disintegrate siya. So, yan. I dip it there and then I shoo, shoo, papahit-pahit ko lang yan. So, hindi brush yung ginagamit ko kasi minsan nahukot-kot ko. Make sure na parang overnight yung paint. Na-leave mo overnight yung paint bago ka mag-varnish para lang hindi na bubura bura yung paint habang nag-varnish siya. So, yan. It's all glossy and shiny. Ayan. Parang na siyang lechon na mamantika. Yeah, so make sure na even lang yung coating. Huwag yan masyado diinan. Yan. Yeah, it's so pretty. And... Tada! Here it is! Ta-da! Ah, pagod. Hello! Yeah, so that's how the mirror looks now. Up on my wall. Side by side with my door. Um, yeah, there are things that I wish I would have done differently. It was to use a white background color for um, this project and also buying more paint and using fabric to cover the actual mirror. Kasi nung tinanggal ko na yung paper na nakatakip sa kami, medyo may mga naiwan na punit ko na yun, other things. Those, those are the things that I wish I did differently but overall I'm really happy turned out and we do it away even green just um the video from the background because now i used a green background in the white that's it for this video so if you like these kinds of videos um please subscribe to my channel to see more Hit the notification bell and if you like this video in particular give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you have any insights and tips anything that you can suggest to me as an artist i really appreciate it i really appreciate feedback and also more learning since i am also a student so that's all for this video today i hope you guys are staying safe and keep shining.